Hi guys, VST here with Asprey's Tech. It's time now to review guys all the latest updates from the second beta software update released just yesterday. Second beta software update on the One UI 3.0. So yesterday I made an update video where I showed you that the latest version is indeed the ZTJG. And also we went through the change log. So we know right now what bugs have been fixed. Honestly, I did not really encounter those bugs, but I wanna really focus here on these last three things. So it says, quick panel improvement and camera improvement, right? And then also I, I got really some requests from you what happens with the animations. So I think if you're watching this video made, this is specifically for you. You ask me what happens with the animations when the phone is in the landscape mode and you just have to exit. So I'm just doing this for you. You can see, uh, I have been asked if the animations really are so fluid as the one in the iPhone 11 uh, in the latest iOS 13, 14, I don't really know to me that's really fluent enough. So this is really how you open, let's say the app store. This is the opening animation. This is the close animation, all right? And when we go here, you see, I'm going here from the vertical to the landscape. And if we go to in landscape mode, it's pretty much kind of like the same animation. So I would say animations are working. Nothing really seems to be broken so far. So good. And um, then of course there was this improvement on the quick panel so I just noticed yesterday when I installed it for the first time here I got really something that was like an M and apparently right now they have edited here the quick panel layout so right now you have the option to show the brightness control above the notifications all right and you can also show the device and media buttons and you can show also device and media buttons above notifications so I'm just going to enable this to show you so here I have all my notifications and we see that we have here the brightness toggle is really above the notification and also devices and media are above the notification, all right? And I'm just gonna show you guys that this works. So if we go here back to quick panel layout, right? Then we can just remove that one, right? So show device and media buttons, but they're not gonna be here above the notifications. And we can do the same for the brightness toggle. So right now you see there is no brightness toggle and there is no media and devices, all right? So this is something really that I believe has been changed. So again, when you go here, quick panel layout, right? Now, what happens when we remove the show devices and media buttons? So apparently you cannot see them, right? So they're not here. And when you go back guys and we enable them again and press the down, they're gonna be here. So we have the option to also like keep this above the notification or else just kind of like display them when you enter here the quick settings. So this has been one of the changes. Now they say many up improvements. I was not really able to see a lot of this. Again, I didn't really even had problems with the very first beta that was even not public. So right now, guys, I'm gonna offer you a tour in the camera. So this is something I wanted to show you because they said that they kind of like fixed some things here. And what I wanted to show you guys are really the options that we have in the camera. So we have some intelligent features. We have the scene optimizer. We have the shot suggestions, right? We have the scan QR code. And then we have the picture, so swipe shutter button. So we can immediately take burst shots or also create GIF. Now in the format and advanced options, we have here the HEIF picture. So I think this is when you want to use like a compression. And you can also save raw copies of your pictures and also apply ultra wide shape correction to the ultra wide lens, all right? I think this has been before there. Okay, you have the safe selfies as previewed. I'm not sure why this is really disabled right now. We have the selfie color tone, guys. Probably this is something new, so here you can go to cool or keep original or keep warm. And I think it's actually quite good because one of the problems that I had with the Samsung camera is that it kind of like applies too much softening on the face of the people, right? See, when you're shooting a portrait, then the face is really a little bit blurred, so there is this softening, like this beautify effect. So this, I think, selfie color tone is something very nice. Now we go to the videos. The rear video sites, guys, you can apparently go here in the rear video sites and change the set. Oops, and now you see, okay, it's a better software, right? So you now have seen in real time what happened, okay. Let me try to do it again. We can go to rear video size. So you can apparently shoot 8K video. It's only 24 PS. And then you can shoot, of course, on the regular like 60 to 9. And I'm using usually like the FHD, you know, 60 FPS. You can go here up to UHD and then also 60 FPS. You have also full, again, 30 FPS and one to one. Okay, but when you select some of those modes, then tracking out of focus is not working, which is actually here when you go to the advanced recording options, guys, it is pretty much the same. So we have the high efficiency videos this is pretty much what I explained that we kind of used on the pictures you have apparently also HDR 10 which doesn't really works on most of the settings so you need to really 
to enable that one. Right now, I'm not sure. You know, apparently I cannot enable this one. Optimize the contrast and color of each video. It used to work right now. I'm not sure why not, okay? And then guys, you have here video stabilization. We have the auto HDR and we have tracking autofocus, which apparently you can use with some of the modes. So let's see if I have auto focus right now and I go back. No, this is not selectable. I don't know. If you know the reason, let me know. You have also the grid lines. You have the location tags. You have here shooting methods, so press volume key to take a picture or record a video or let's say to zoom or to enhance the system volume up and down or you can have voice control, you can have a floating shutter button and you can show palm like you want to take a picture, you just hold your palm. All these things I think were there before. You have then here settings to keep, all right, so start the camera with the latest settings you have applied, selfie angle even and also the filters. You have the shutter sound, the vibration feedback, and you can see here the version of the camera, which right now is 110059. Something that I've noticed, guys, if you want to apply like a filter, you can go from here, and you have these My Filters, where apparently you can choose, let's say I want to choose this lady here, to apply kind of like the settings from the photo on the settings here, you see? So I can save this as a filter, guys. So this would be, let's say, the original picture. Let me just take a picture. Then I can just take the settings from my filter, which is another photo of mine, or I can take the picture from this lady and then do a, you know, apply a filter like this. I'm not sure if this was there before, but right now it's, it seems to work quite okay. And if we go, guys, in the gallery, let's see what we have in the gallery. So apparently in the gallery, if we click like this, guys, you should be able again to press the tag. So you see, you have location, you have add tags, and I think you have all the nice stuff, so skin, okay, let's put skin, let's put save. So all the nice stuff there. Let's try to see what happens when you edit it. So apparently when we edited the picture, okay, you know that you can apparently, you know, let's try to edit something here, guys. Let's try to do it like that. Let's try to apply also a color filter. Let's apply this filter, for example, okay. Let's apply, let's apply some contrast. And then when you save it, guys, and you go back, you know, you see, only the new photo will be saved. We've seen this feature also in the first beta, and now you can go and press just revert, and you're gonna get the original picture. And that's very nice because then all the time you just get access to the latest picture. So I think, guys, those are the new options from the latest second beta. Again, I showed you the animations, I showed you the quick panel, the changes, and then I showed you all the settings from the camera because they said that there are some camera improvements. So I really hope that you're gonna enjoy this video. And if this is the case, guys, you might consider subscribing for my channel. I come back for more. Don't forget to come back for more. And we're gonna catch up in my next video. VST, over and bye.